John Doe here for Conspiracy Cinema. Currently riding in the trunk of a car. Apparently somebody doesn't like me speaking the truth. But trust me, faithful viewer, I will not be intimidated and I will not be silenced. Do you hear me? Oh crap, I think we're stopping. Shh, send help. Sit down, close your blinds, and lock your bedroom door because I have uncovered a massive conspiracy that involves Disney, the Illuminati, and good old-fashioned pornography. Right here on Conspiracy Cinema. Has Disney been secretly placing sexually explicit subliminal messages in their animated children's movies? And is there a more sinister reason for these messages? I'm John Doe. Let's take a closer look. Closer. Oh! Is that a smoked turkey leg in your pocket, or are you just... Wait a second, you can't joke like that, Doe. This is a children's movie. Oh, hey, this looks pretty wholesome. I wonder what the forecast in Africa is today, Simba. Looks like it's partly cloudy with a chance of... sex? That definitely spells out sex. I thought The Lion King was a children's movie. Let's check the poster to be sure. Oh, and how about the poster for Tangled for a little more subliminal advertising? And apparently in Agrabah, good teenagers take off their clothes. And here's Jessica Rabbit flashing some Conejo a la Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct. Still don't believe Disney's peddling sex in their animated movies? I am not making this stuff up, people. That was really in there. And this next one is just disturbing. Although with recent rumors surrounding Expo Benedict, this one seems like legitimate satire. Now a Disney rep might say, <laughs> to which I would reply, God damn it, give me somebody who speaks English. <gasps> It's just one of our Randy animators having a goof with one of his animator pals. But is a golden foot long Jeff Stryker monster dong with the suction cup base really the kind of practical joke that you want on the cover of the video cassette that you give to your eight year old nephew at his Chuck E. Cheese birthday party? I am so sorry, Kenny. No, not unless you are Jerry Sandusky or Michael Jackson. Whoa, 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 settle down there, Team Jacko. I have inside information that tells me that Jackson was abducted and replaced with a reptilian pedophile alien. So we'll be happy to know that his reputation remains intact. Focus, people. It's tangents like these that Disney wants us to go on so that we don't discover the real truth. Now, what is the real reason that the Disney Corporation would perpetrate a subliminal sex campaign? The answer shouldn't surprise you. Money. Inside sources have revealed to me the shocking truth behind these hidden messages. You see, Disney knows that the parents are watching these movies with their children, so the subliminally charged sexual messages are meant to stimulate the adults. More sex equals more children, more children means more tickets sold to Disneyland. Here, look at my mouse weight app. Disneyland is only at 79% capacity. That's 21% from full. Think of all the potential missed sales. Imagine the nacho cheese stuffed soft pretzels and Clarabelle's hand scooped ice cream that is not being shoved down little kids' pie holes. An inside source at Disneyland uncovered an even wickeder plot just down a dark alleyway at Main Street, USA. My source was so scared of the four-fingered fist of Disneyland coming down upon her that I've had to keep her identity anonymous. Here are her bombshells revealed. In the black of night, under the full moon, I saw these little henchmen dumping carriages full of hormones into the waters of Disneyland. I'm sorry, what? That, that mirror is amazing. Hormones! Hormones in the water! They make puberty happen faster. The apple can be picked earlier, bitten into sooner. Hormones in the water so the younger Disney fans will hit puberty earlier, have sex faster, and start family sooner. A wicked, wicked plan. 
quite ingenious, really. Would Disney really create another baby boom just so they could fill their theme parks to 100% capacity? So that they can move more Little Mermaid onesies and more Dior plush pillows and more Duffy the Disney Bear? Oh, never heard of Duffy the Disney Bear? That's because he's a fraud! Bad enough that I have to wait 90 minutes to ride Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, and now they want to pack the theme park with even more kids? And don't tell me to go to Vegas because it's Disneyland for adults. Vegas doesn't have star tours with 54 different versions of the same ride. How have I never been to Hoth yet? And what's the deal with those delightfully scrumptious corn dogs? Must investigate corn dog batter. Why so addictive? We just start off with the corn dog. We just stick it in the batter and we dip it into the oil. We so then we let it sit there and cook and it's ready to pull out once it's fully golden brown. The more we investigate these conspiracies, the deeper we fall into the rabbit hole. But it gets deeper. Goodbye, Goodbye. Did you know that Walt Disney was a 33rd level Freemason, giving him access to the deep, dark secrets of the Masons, an organization linked to both the Templar Knights and the Illuminati? Can you begin to see the enchanted forest through the trees? Subliminal messages, Illuminati, what's really going on inside the Corndog Castle? I think we're going to need another episode to explore these many Disney conspiracies. I will not stop until you and I, John Doe, battling together, have laid siege to the Disney castle, smashed their bastions of secrets, and toppled the enchanted towers themselves to set free the beautiful Princess of Truth. Oh, curse you, Disney! And your enchantment spells, I will fight you till my last dying breath. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled and your lips sealed. Magic mirror on the wall. What's the greatest cinema conspiracy of them all? That you're not on TV. Do you have a cinematic conspiracy you need help uncovering? Leave it in the comments below. Encode. <laughs>